So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Professor Ajay Kumar Su, Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India. Alia Bhatt, renowned actor and entrepreneur, welcome. My esteemed colleagues, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to all of you. Supporting and nurturing entrepreneurs has been one of Amazon's focus areas in India. And over the years, we have taken a number of initiatives to propel India's startup ecosystem. And today we are excited to announce the launch of a new prime video series, Mission Startup, in association with the Office of the BSA Government of India, as I mentioned earlier. Amazon and the BSA's office signed a letter of engagement a few months ago to, collab to collaborate on developing and creating an episodic reality series featuring some of India's most promising science, technology, and innovation related startups. Since then, the teams from both the sides have been regularly brainstorming, discussing, and having a dialogue to curate mission startup. We are deeply grateful to Dr. Su and his brilliant team for the partnership, specifically Special Secretary Dr. Maini for his support and Dr. Sapna, Director of Strategic Alliances for their inputs and guidance. It is heartening to see how an idea which came up during our initial interactions with Dr. Satna of primarily putting together a series that would inspire millions of individuals and grassroots innovators to become successful entrepreneurs is becoming a reality today. As we know, India houses the third largest startup ecosystem in the world and is projected to witness the emergence of 147 unicorns within the next five years. And I hope this data is factual and correct. Our Honorable Prime Minister has rightly termed startups as the backbone of New India and the engine that will power India's economic growth in the run-up to the 100 year of independence. What is exciting for us at Amazon is we are well positioned to support the government's vision of promoting innovation and entrepreneurship. I mean, you can say that it runs in our uh, DNA. And over the years, we have introduced several programs customized to encourage innovation and support young entrepreneurs and startups. Just to give you a, a snapshot of some of the programs in the country, we have what is known as Amazon Launchpad, uh, which is a program that works with startups, helps in, uh, in, in establishing brands and mentor them over a period of time to make their business market ready. We also have something called as the Amazon Summer Venture Fund, uh, which is again to handhold, provide funding to the early age, uh, sorry, early stage startups and high quality entrepreneurs. Uh, and we have invested and constantly look for opportunities to uh, to you know promote talented entrepreneurs in agri-tech, healthcare, and other startups that use technology to unlock possibilities. Uh, we also have something called as Global Selling Propel, uh, which is a program that supports, again, you know, startups. Uh, and the idea is to integrate uh, their sort of work in products to global supply chain and create powerful brands. Uh, as many of you are probably aware, uh, Amazon is one company that has a thriving exports business. Uh, so we, you know, largely encourage entrepreneurs to take their products to almost 200 countries across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for us to invite onto the stage Professor Ajay Kumar Su, Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India. So we request you to please join us and share your perspective and more details on this collaboration. Mr. Chetan Krishnaswamy. Ms. Aparna Prohit, <coughs> Mr. Sushant Shira, 
colleagues from my office, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to all of you for this very, very interesting event. I am happy to be a part of this event to announce the much-awaited Amazon Prime Web Series Mission Startup. And we are very happy to be associated with this whole uh, new experiment to really take the startup culture to the masses. Because that's the only way we can leapfrog into higher echelon of technology and economy. I am very happy to be joined here by Ms. Alia Bhatt, who dons many hats. A very talented actress. I have seen some of your movies, not all. An entrepreneur who rules the industry with her hard work, determination and creativity. The last part is most important. And uh, she leads by example. And I am very sure that her entrepreneurial journey uh, can inspire and will inspire many, many young founders. As you would be aware, as it was mentioned uh, by Chetanji, India is soon becoming the capital of the uh, startup capital of the globe. As mentioned, we already have almost 93,000 startups registered. These are the ones which have been registered on the uh, portal of DPIIT, but there are many more which will take some time to register. So the number is uh, staggering in the sense that it only started with about 450 in 2016. So it's a big, big jump and uh, this is all to the vision and the encouragement of our Honorable Prime Minister who is really leading from the front to make this a really a, uh, this should be in our uh, DNA, is the very basic requirement for this to grow. And uh, I also learned uh, yesterday that India startups have raised almost 20 billion US dollars uh, in funding so far, a very large number. And I am very, very sure that uh, this number will increase further. Now, to cater uh, to all the startups and support them, unfortunately, we don't have a large number of incubators and accelerators. We shouldn't start out. I'm going to actually follow that great of me for the beginning. Uh, it's been, it's been, it's been almost two decades since I passed out of graduated from college. Uh, and I still get nervous when I'm in the vicinity of a professor, uh, respected professor that it wants to, uh, principal scientific advisor to the government of India, esteemed guests, members of the media, my friends, a warm welcome to you all, and thank you so much for being here. It's a particularly special occasion for me, uh, as somebody who uh, was an entrepreneur a long, long, long time ago, uh, and I'm truly, truly heartened to see mission start up, uh, come to life. It's been an absolute labor of love. You know, over the last decade, India has witnessed a remarkable surge in entrepreneurship, you know, propelling to what I believe we have more than 100 unicorns across the country today. Right? Uh, and as Professor Suth pointed out, India's startup ecosystem is expansive. We have almost 90,000 or 92,000 recognized startups in the country today. Right? Uh, we have a database of more than 3 lakh ideas, tech ideas, and we have innovations from more than 600 districts in the country, which is phenomenal. This surge in startups has positioned India as really one of the, if not the epicenter of entrepreneurial ecosystems in the world, and I'm pretty certain India is poised to emerge as a global center for all future innovation. And it's hard to deny the youth of the country has been a driving force in this search that we have seen. Right? Uh, brimming with ideas that hold the promise of creating a profound impact on society. Uh, I believe India's startup ecosystem is just about beginning to unveil its full potential. And it's particularly heartening that just as the entrepreneurial ecosystem begins to do that, we at Amazon are committed to being a catalyst that 
you know, enables this transformation. Our partnership with the Office of the Principal Scientific Advisor, you know, uh, to the Government of India, and the conceptualization of this brand new series, Mission Startup, is a testament to our commitment as Amazon to fuel the bold and audacious dreams of entrepreneurs across the country. Mission Startup shines a spotlight on India's indigenous grassroots innovators, fueling their growth not just through you know, fundraising alone, but also helping them, you know, build their skills, uh, build their build their vision, really embellish, you know, their, their starting idea, help them go through the, you know, hybridization that Professor Sue talked about, to really make sure that not only are they future proof, uh, but they create the impact across society that we all hope they will. And the show will showcase this. Uh, through a series of rigorous challenges and simulations uh, that will not only aim to provide viewers a fascinating peek into these startups, uh, but also turbocharge these ventures on their journey to become the next unicorn. In today's fiercely competitive and pretty, pretty intense dynamic business landscape, the success of any venture hinges <coughs> not just upon the, the brilliance of the original idea, uh, but also a whole ecosystem of mentors, accelerators, incubators, and so on. However, as highlighted by Professor Sue just a little while ago, we face a disheartening reality, which is there aren't enough of these for the amazing, amazing thousands of startups we have across the country. You know, I, I, mean, I was an entrepreneur, what, 16, 15, 16 years ago. And when I look back on those times, we did not have the ecosystem or the infrastructure uh, to help entrepreneurs convert their dreams into a viable business and then scale it. Obviously, in the last you know decade and a half, we have come a long way since then, but I think we can all agree there's a lot more that needs to be done. Amazon as an enabler, actively contributing to the economic growth and development of our nation is thrilled to bring to you all mission startup. We believe a series like this can not only be entertaining, which we really hope it will be, but also be inspiring, uh, educative, and informative to entrepreneurs across the country. At Prime Video, we embrace our role as a force for good, utilizing our brand voice and influence to make a positive impact on the society at large. And I think Chetan talked about it just a while ago. A couple of months ago, we signed a letter of engagement between Amazon and the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. So actually, I'll start off by saying hello to my lovely, lovely members of the media from Delhi, Delhi Walo. Kya hale aaj? Haan, bhoat serious baat ho ri aaj abhi, idhar. Bhoat important baat ho ri aur actually I want to start off by saying I'm sure, I think 60% of the people in the room are confused as to why I'm here as an entrepreneur. Soch rhi hongi ki, Aliyah to brand endorse karti hai, entrepreneur kaan se aaya hai? Maximum invest kiya hooga. Question mark to hai na? Hey, na? Dekha? I'm so connected to them, so I know exactly how they're thinking. But to be very honest, even I sometimes think to myself, ke, oh, okay, you're actually an entrepreneur. So let's go back as to where this started and where this came from. Yes. In 2015 or 2016, I remember that I had a kid in my mind that I had to create something. Okay, it's as simple, it was the rise of all these apps and I'm saying, speaking in the most simple language because I'm an audience, I'm a consumer. So there's lots of apps coming out. So every time I was coming up with an idea, I also want to create an app. Little did I know that A, you need a lot of money, uh, a clear idea and um, somebody to back that idea. So then um, I remember, okay fine, I would call up my um, team and say, oh no, I have this idea, why don't we create something like this, why don't we do this, something, and they would just humor me and hear me out, and I don't think I'm ever going to stop ideating about, you know, what I would like to create. But basically what I was looking for at that time, I remember, and it comes from a very vulnerable place as a person, I never wanted to put all my eggs in one basket, which is make actor who, and I work very hard on a daily basis, but kal ka kya pata? You know, who knows where I'm going to be tomorrow. So I wanted to secure myself as a person and as a professional. Um, but obviously, when I sat down to actually ideating about what I want to create, usually you would consider an actor to do like a fashion brand, some clothes, a limited edition collection or something, which is fine in its place and it's great. 
But when I actually got down to thinking about, do you need another fashion label? There is so much, there's so much quantity, there's so much, uh, so many options available. So why would anybody come for a product just because my name is, is associated to it? So I didn't want it to be something that just because it's associated to my name, it should, it's a brand that should stand tall on its own. So I looked for the gap in the market at that time. Us time pe, there were not as many homegrown, sustainable children's clothing brands at that time. And that's where I said, okay, this is the story. And parallelly, us time pe, I was also thinking of putting out a story of a little girl and her dog, Ed. And this little girl and her dog go on these adventures. They talk to trees and animals and everything. And they're on, the on this adventure to save the planet. So from that story came the story of Edamama, which is my own children's wear clothing brand. Mera venture hai, mera capital hai, mera vision hai. I am the sole investor and founder of Edamama. So that's the information that I want to put out there first. Can we have a round of applause along with the pictures, please?